We're gonna start sitting down on the ground with the soles of the feet touching, knees bent, and you can rock side to side to make sure you're sitting evenly on your sit bones. Then tilt your pelvis forward, and from the base of your spine there with your forward tilt in your pelvis, you can let the rest of your upper body start to fold forward as well. Don't worry too much about how far forward you're going. Just make sure that it originates from that forward tilt of the pelvis. Start to come back up and extend your right leg long. You can keep a big bend in that knee if you need, or you can straighten out the leg, whatever feels comfortable to you. And then again, just start to fold forward through center. On an inhale, start to sit all the way back up. And then we're going to take a little twist over towards that right leg, the extended leg. So you can just use your hand on your outer thigh or knee area, your opposite hand behind you for support. Without tugging, you can use your arms just for a little bit of gentle assistance here to take your twist. And you can look back over your back shoulder if that's comfortable on your neck. Now without coming out of your twist, just turn to look at your extended leg and fold forward over that extended leg. Remember that you can keep a bend in your knee there if you need. You don't need to reach your toes or your foot or anything like that. You can just rest your hands wherever they reach on the leg or foot. And let's come back up and we'll just take a nice simple twist in the opposite direction, again using both hands and arms to gently assist the twist without pulling or tugging. And again, look over your back shoulder if that's comfortable for your neck. your hands face the front again and then inch that right hand down the extended leg inhale reach your left arm up and over the side body big side body stretch you can roll out your top wrist or bend your elbow or reach for your foot any variation that's available to you in your practice that feels good here you can take And inhale to come back up through center, rebend your right leg, extend your left leg, and we're gonna take it to the other side. So make sure you're sitting evenly and then tilt your pelvis forward and just start with that easy forward fold. Coming back up through center, you can walk your hands over to the left to take your first twist, using your hands and arms as support and looking back over your back shoulder. Sit up nice and tall when you twist and relax your shoulders down your back. Without coming out of your twist, just turn to face your extended leg and start to fold forward gently over that leg, remembering that you can keep as much of a bend as you may need in that leg. And inhale, start to come back up and exhale over to the opposite side for your twist.
Turning back to neutral at center, you can inch your left fingertips down your left leg and take a big inhale to sweep your right arm all the way up and over your head, maybe bending your elbow. You can even cradle your skull in your hand or take any other variation that you like here. It doesn't need to perfectly match up with what you did on the first side because you might feel differently on this side and that's okay. So do what feels right for this side right now. Now come all the way back up and exhale. You can use your hands to extend both legs now. And remember, always keep as much of a bend through the knees as you need. Tilt forward through your pelvis and from that forward tilt, let the rest of your upper body drape forward as much as it can today. So onto your hands is fine, onto your forearms, forehead, your belly, whatever is available for you is perfect. Let your next inhale bring you back up and swing your left leg around to meet your right leg. So now both legs are extended together in front of you and fold forward over those legs, keeping a nice deep bend in the knees if you need or straightening out your legs or anywhere in between. Again, tilting forward through your pelvis and then letting the rest of your upper body drape forward from there. On an inhale, come back up, bend your knees. You can use your hands, cross your ankles and just swing forward over your legs to come into an extended child's pose. Knees nice and wide, arms and forehead relaxed on the ground, hips heavy on the heels. You can always take a gentle rock side to side through your hips or your forehead or both to get settled in here. And then really let yourself sink and be heavy and effortless. On your next inhale, come up through tabletop and then step that right leg forward so your right foot is right inside your right hand and then shift your hips forward to get a stretch through your left hip flexor there. You can pause here for as long as it feels good and we're gonna move between this and a half splits, easing the hips backwards stretching through the back of the right leg now. And so again, stay as long as you'd like in each shape. We'll move between them so you can move quickly with one breath, one movement, or you can stay for longer in one and then longer in the other, that's up to you. If you decide to stay a bit longer in your half splits, it might feel nice to actually take a seat back on your back heel. If you wanna stay forward, you can take a twist open towards the right if that feels nice. And if you want even more there, you can bend your back knee. Make sure you're on the top of the kneecap. And if you want even more, you can reach back for your right foot. But if this is a strain at all, if your hips are starting to move back to make this happen, skip this variation. you are come back to the lunge at the front 
and then walk your right foot over to the left and come into your half pigeon pose. Untuck your back toes if you haven't yet. You can stay upright or come down partially, or if you have even more space, you can come down all the way onto your forehead on your fists or hands or the ground. We're just gonna reverse the stretch in the hip. So coming up enough that you can slide that right leg out to the right now. Right angles through your hip and your knee and your foot on the right side. And then you can lay back down. So it's almost like you're trying to flatten through your whole right leg and hip area. When you're ready to come out, start to come through center, just slide that right leg back and take a cobra pose or an upward facing dog, any variation that feels good to you. And then just sink back into an embryo pose for a moment to rest before we do the second side. When you're ready, inhale up through tabletop. Exhale, step your left foot forward between your hands and then start to sink your hips forward and down. Stretch the front of the right leg. And again, as the other side here, you can stay longer or you can move back into a half split, stretching the back of the left leg. And you can decide if you want to stay for longer in each shape or if you'd rather take an inhale to come forward and an exhale to come back and to keep moving between the two. So whatever feels best for you. As on the first side, you have the option to take a twist open towards the left when your hips come forward. And if you still want more of a stretch there, you can bend your back knee. And only if you can keep everything as it is, then you can reach back and grab that foot or ankle of the back leg. Wherever you are, we're going to transition into half pigeon on the left. So walk your left foot over to the right wrist, knee down, back toes untuck, hips facing forward, and fold as much or as little as feels good for you for this side for today.
Now we'll stretch the inner hip thigh area. So just scoot that left leg out to the left at a right angle between the hip and the knee and the ankle and lay back down on the ground in a comfortable position. Scoot that left leg back to come to a cobra or an upward facing dog, just like we ended the first side. Any variation that feels good to you is good. And again, just sit back into an embryo pose. It's child's pose with knees together, arms back by your side. Let the whole spine round effortlessly here and rest. This is where our practice will end for today. So I invite you to stay here or take a Shavasana for as long as you can. Thanks so much for practicing with us today and we'll see you next time.